Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Wiredogsack, back with another video for you guys. In today's video, we are going to continue on with Try Hack Me. This is the Junior Penetration Tester Learning Path. This is the Network Security Module, Net Sec Challenge, the name of the room. Practice the skills you have learned in the Network Security Module. This is the last room of this Network Security Module. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, task number one, introduction. Use this challenge to test your mastery of the skills you have acquired in the network security module. All the questions in this challenge can be solved using only Nmap, Telnet, and Hydra. Answer the question below. I've already launched the attack box and the target VM. I have my Nmap scan ready to go over here, as you can see. And then task number two, challenge questions. Answer the following questions using Nmap, Telnet, and Hydra. What is the highest port number being open less than 10,000, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so as soon as the scan finishes, we'll come back and try to answer some of these questions here. I don't know how long this is going to take. Okay, it looks like my in-map scan successfully finished. And let's just look at this real quick. I got this set to T4, which is the second highest uh, scan speed. It's aggressive, dash ST for a TCP scan or TCP connect scan. And then this dash P dash, which is scanning all of the ports and then dash a is an aggressive scan and i have this little uh cheat sheet i found right here on the internet here that explains um all the options and stuff for in map scans so if you're curious i'll have the link into the, the description box so you can check this out now let's flip back over to this next sec uh, challenge area all right so some of these questions here what is the highest port number being open less than 10,000? well that's going to be port 8080 so if you look through here we can see that is what we're looking for, right? So port 8080 is down here. And the next question says, there is an open port outside the common 1000 ports. It is above 10,000. What is it? Well, if we look right past port 8080 down here, we can see that port is 10021. And how many TCP ports are open? If we go through and look at our results, you can count every port that's listed as TCP and open state will come across it as being six okay now the next question says what is the flag hidden in the http server header hey everybody just a quick little blurb here as you can see here most people that view my channel are not subscribers if you're new here please consider subscribing to the channel if you're enjoying the video please consider hitting the like button it helps get me in the algorithm help spread the good word out there helps bring more people and increase our glorious community here all right i'm all about helping out others. I know what it's like to come up in cybersecurity or even try to get into cybersecurity and not knowing where to look. I'm just having this channel up so I can help out other people. All right, that's all I got. And now if we go through and take a look at our scan results here, we can go ahead and try to locate that particular HTTP header. And let's see if it shows up in our in-map scans. I see one in here for SSH. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab this one here because that's going to be the one we're looking for for the next question, it looks like. So I'll go ahead and plug that one in. All right, apparently I was going too fast because if we scroll up a little bit, we can see both flags here. We get the SSH one, which is this one, and then we have the HTTP uh, header flag here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one and paste it over like so. And next question says, we have an FTP server listening on a non-standard port. What is the version of the FTP server? Well, the standard port of FTP is port 21, right? And we don't see that here. So let's go ahead and try to locate that FTP service. And this is the one we're looking for, it looks like here. And it's running VSFTPD 3.0.3. And let's go ahead and grab this. It says, we learned two usernames using social engineering, Eddie and Quinn. What is the flag hidden in one of these two accounts, files, and accessible via FTP? All right, so it looks like we're going to have to use Hydra to try to figure out this particular flag. And then this next one looks like we're going to be going to the web browser to try to find out. So let's go ahead and try these out real quick. All right, so let's take a look here. Now, the first thing I did was create a file called users.txt. As you can see here, I catted that file and it has Eddie and Quinn in there from the social engineering information. And then I used Hydra to target FTP on that particular 
uh, target machine using that IP address on the FTP that we had found from the nmap scans and then I did a dash capital L for this user.txt file and then a capital or a, a dash cap capital P for the rocku.txt file for the passwords and then I launched the attack and then discovered both of their passwords so Eddie and the, his password is Jordan and then Quinn password is Andrea Okay, so now that is complete. We have that information. Now we need to log in one, with one of these accounts using uh, FTP. So if I navigate over here, that's exactly what I did. FTP, and then the target machine, and then the port of the FTP, right? So logged in as Quinn, enter Quinn's username and password here. I did an LS inside of FTP. As you can see there, it lists out the files. I saw this interesting file here for the flag. I downloaded that file using get, as you can see there. And then I exit out of it using quit. And now I catted that file that we grabbed from that box to get this flag here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this over if I can grab it. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. There we go. And so that solves that one. And the next one says that we need to navigate to this particular uh, website here. And so I'm going to go over to Firefox, right? And it says that your mission is to use Nmap to scan this IP address as covertly as possible and avoid being detected by the IDS. So let's go ahead and reset this packet count. In order to solve this one here, what I did was launch an Nmap scan using the dash S uppercase N. So let's go ahead and launch this bad boy here. And if we go back over to Firefox here, it should give us the flag down here at the bottom. And voila, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and grab this out of here. If I can grab it. All right, let's just grab the whole thing and we'll just delete it. Everything except for the flag. There we go. Now, another thing is if you want to find out more information about whatever tool you want to use, like let's say you want information about Nmap stuff. So you can use Nmap-H, right? And it'll give you information about it, right? There you go. So that's just another thing to take to consider. Instead of uh, using an external source like that cheat sheet I showed you guys, you can just use that if you're comfortable with that. Use whatever works best for you. But anyway, let's close out this video. Task number three of summary. Congratulations. In this module, we have learned about passive reconnaissance, active reconnaissance, in map protocols and services, and attacking logins with Hydra. Time to continue your journey with a new module. So thank you all for. Uh, following along on this journey with me. Hopefully you were able to follow along. If you weren't, hopefully you pay attention to the material discussed in the video. As always, be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and comment below on your thoughts and opinions. As always, thank you all for watching. Have a nice day, and I will see you later.